So right now it's split screen. There are two webcams. One of these webcams is the Logitech Brio 4K. The other webcam is the Osbot Tiny. The reason I am comparing these two side by side, they're they're basically the same price right now on Amazon. They're they're basically $200. I think that's the normal price they sell it for. So while you're thinking in your mind which of these webcam sites looks best to you, let me give you some context. I've been testing webcams for over the past year to try to find a really good webcam that I like. I have basically concluded that uh, the best option or, or one of the best options right now is the Logitech Brio. So I was really interested when the company OBS Obsbot reached out to me, asked me if I wanted to review their OBS, Obsbot Tiny. Because it's about the same price as a Logitech Brio, I wanted to see if I thought it was better, worse, the same. Well, you've seen this video feed for a while. Have you thought in your mind which one you think is better? So there you go. We've got the uh, Logitech, we've got the Logitech Brio over here, and then we've got the Obsbot Tiny over here. Do you have a preference for which one you think is better? So it wasn't really explicit, but I, I do want to point out that Obsbot did send this webcam to me for free. I'm trying to keep opinions to myself and just kind of show you straight side by side so you can decide for yourself which webcam you think might be better. Let me talk about some of the features of the Logitech Brio versus the Obsbot Tiny. The first thing I want to talk about is the actual physical setup. Now, I will say as good as the quality is on the Logitech Brio, my biggest complaint with the Logitech Brio has been that it's always been very stationary. You can't move it side by side, up or down. You just basically put it on your monitor or your computer or whatever, and it stays there. It's right in front of you, front and center. Boom. That's all you've got. Yay. So compare that with the OBSBOT Tiny. The OBSBOT has a magnetic base, and you can manually move the camera easily wherever you want. Another really cool thing about this is that if you move the Ozbot down all the way, it will actually turn off. It will turn off the webcam. So that's one way, instead of having like a cover or blocking or something, just move it down and it turns off. I actually really like this feature about the Ozbot. But of course, you can also do the same thing with the Logitech Brio really easy. You just kind of put your finger, oh, probably a little bit better I think with the uh, OBSBOT. Let's talk about quality now. So the Brio is 4K, the OBSBOT is not, it's 1080p. So I would expect the quality to be better on the Brio. And I don't know if you can tell just looking at this screen as it is now, but uh, I certainly do think that the Brio has better quality. Let's go ahead and talk lighting for just a second. I've intentionally done kind of poor lighting. I wanted to kind of mimic what a normal setup would be. Uh, I've got some lights, so let's turn some lights on. All right, so we've got some pretty strong lights. And if you'll notice on the uh, Brio side, some of the, the highlights on my skin oh, kind of bleed out. Um, let, let's turn on some more. So pay attention kind of to some of the highlights on my forehead. Uh, Brio versus OBSBOT. I do feel like the OBSBOT does maybe slightly a better job of not bleeding out the highlights. Let's turn on one more light. Um, a little more obvious in, in this scene where you can see on the Brio I've got kind of a big shiny spot. Yeah, shine away forehead. On the OBSBOT, it's not so much. That being said, uh, I almost feel like there's a little bit more depth and contrast on the Brio than the OBSBOT. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm not. Maybe you're crazy. Let's turn on more lights if we got them. Boom. There we go. Oof. Yeah. Forehead. Shine away. Shine on. Shine on. Okay, now while we've got the lights on, let's talk colors for a minute. The colors are different. 
honestly, I don't necessarily know which one seems more real to me. Uh, but check it out. I've got some nice junk mail from SoFi. I actually wrote to them and called them, and they're like, yeah, we'll give you an estimate. They never did. The, this, this is not sponsored by SoFi. FYI. Junk mail from SoFi. So look at the purple. Now, let's turn off the lights and look at the purple. Boom, those lights are off. Boom, that light's off. Slightly different colors. Again, honestly, they're different. Um, I think I like the Brio maybe more. Sorry, I, I don't want to add opinion too much, but that's just a thought. While I've got this out, let, let's take a look at the quality. If you can read the text on the Brio site and compare that with the OBSBOT site, you will notice that the text on the Brio site is definitely more clear. I'm just going to say it. 4K makes a difference. It's better than 1080p, especially when it's a decent sensor. So, if you're looking quality straight up, Brio is still the way to go. Let's talk about something else. Frame rate. Um, if I wave, let's go ahead, turn off the light. Uh, frame rate is definitely impacted by light. So, you move my hand. Which one's faster? Turn lights on, boom, and frame rate again. Oh, well, I'm gonna say the Brio. It's looking like the Brio is faster. So I'm doing an audio test now, and my wife has the TV on in the background, which is perfect for what we're testing. My kids are up and talking, and I've got an electric razor. So check this out. I'm going to turn on the electric razor. You can hear it. But as I continue to talk, you will notice that uh, you can hear me. Oh, I think the garage door just opened, too. Perfect. So you can hear me better than you can hear the razor. I'm going to turn this off. Obsbot does have noise suppression. That is pretty cool. If you are in a noisy environment like, well, basically like I am now with, you know, a TV on in the background, or maybe you're in a classroom or something, or next to a busy street, noise suppression is really nice to have or can be nice to have. It does have an impact on the audio. Okay, now let's switch on over to the Logic Tech Brio so you can kind of compare audio to that. Okay, now the audio you hear is coming from the Logitech Brio and this does not have noise suppression. TV? Kids? Probably hear them? Maybe? Here's my electric razor. I turn on my electric razor. You can hear it. I am talking. You can still hear the the electric razor. Obviously, there's no noise suppression. That being said, I am actually quite impressed with the mic on the Logitech Brio. I don't think it's super amazing, but honestly, it's probably one of the best mics I've tested on a webcam, which isn't necessarily saying much. But there you go, audio test. So features for the Logitech Brio. Done. That was great. That was nice and easy. The um. If you download the software for the Logitech Brio, you can basically kind of zoom in and out. And yay, features. This is going to be the thing that sets the OBSBOT apart from the Logitech. So let me go over and switch over to the OBSBOT. OBSBOT features. I've already talked about this, but one thing I, I really like about the OBSBOT is, you know, it, it is a PTZ. You can manually move it. You can move the camera wherever you want. So it means you can basically place the camera wherever you want. You can move it and you can point it to what you want. That's that's actually nice. It's nice that you can point it down, camera turns off. Give it a second. There we go, turn it off. 
back on. So that's kind of cool about the OBSBOT. What the OBSBOT kind of advertises that's fancy dancy though is that you can do hand gestures like this. And now it's going to follow me. Oh, hi, camera over there. Let me hide. Or can I? So I'm going to turn that off. But if I go like this, Zoom. Sorry, zoomed in on me all the way. Let's let's get a little zoom out action. Maybe, maybe. Come on, come on, Ozbot. You can do it. You can. Yeah, you can do it. Okay. So w when I first got the Ozbot, I I thought ah these features are kind of weird. And sometimes I still do. As you saw in that video clip, it's sometimes difficult to get it to work all the time. It's not super reliable. It, it almost feels kind of gimmicky to me just to have those features. If, if you're in a situation where you actually need the camera to follow you or to be able to zoom in or zoom out, this is actually really nice. And there's a lot of instances where I could see this being really useful. For example, if you were doing a live streaming and you were teaching something or you're walking around doing something, if you were a teacher and you're in Zoom call and you go up to the blackboard or something like that, this is a really nice thing. I can see a lot of people needing a webcam like this for the functionality of doing the pan tilt zoom. One other thing I do want to point out is both the Brio and the Ozbot have software where you can go in, you can kind of set your zoom level. Um, it's a little more precise with the Ozbot. I can manually kind of come in here, zoom in and zoom out. Uh, I can also kind of move, move it around without doing it manually or have an auto track. And that's, that's kind of nice. Software is nothing fancy, but hey, it works. All right, so final conclusion. That This is my op opinions part of this video. Logitech Brio versus Ozbot, what do I think? If you're going for quality, Brio is still the way to go. It's 4K, the sensor is just better. You just get better video quality. Despite the fact that my forehead has bleeding highlights on the Brio and not so much on the Ozbot, quality on the Logitech is just still better. That being said, everything else about the Obspot is just better or functional or I just, it boggles my mind that the Brio, you can't move. Like, why would they design it that way? Like, why would you pay $200 to get a webcam that, okay, I, yeah, that's what I think about the Brio. Quality, quality and reliability, Brio. The OBSBOT is more fun. Um, I have had issues. It doesn't always do the hand gestures I want it to. I, I have had issues where uh, one time I, I've had a few instances where the camera just kind of went crazy on its own. I wrote to OBSBOT. I'm like, whoa, what's up with this? And they're like, Maybe it doesn't have enough power if you have it plugged into a USB dock, which I did, and I plugged it in directly to my computer, and it hasn't done that since. So that's interesting. Um, if you get the OBSBOT camera, probably plug it directly into your computer. One thing I will say about the OBSBOT that has me hopeful is... They do firmware updates on occasion. I haven't seen too many firmware updates, but in theory, any issue I've seen with the OBSBOT camera, it can probably be resolved with a firmware upgrade. So that would be really cool. What I really like about the OBSBOT is that they're actually trying to be innovative. Uh, I've been looking for over a year for webcams and they're all boring. They're all not that great, honestly. Even the Brio, like for $200, it should be way better than it is. Um, what I would like to see with the Ozbot, honestly, is rather than having a digital zoom, if they maybe even made it just slightly bigger, had an optical zoom and put a better sensor in there. Like, if they could do that, 
this is an amazing camera like the fact that it can follow you around that it's easy to place it's got a magnetic base that would be cool that would make a really really good webcam i think obsbot is going in the right direction i hope they keep it up i hope they make some improvements uh for now straight up quality you still have to go with the brio if you want something a little more fun and a little more versatile the obsbot this is a pretty fun option let me know if you have questions about either camera i will try my best to answer them and have a fantastic friday if you're watching this on a friday cheers